What do we want? Unity. Come on, I can hear you. Unity. What do we want? Unity. Terrence Park leads the rallying cry on the steps of Queensboro Hall Monday night. These neighbors and friends wanted to echo across the city and the world. They speak of experiences, attacks, insults that have happened for years. For too long, our pleas have been ignored and dismissed with the convenient excuse of, oh, but we don't hear your voice. We don't see the need. We don't hear the demand. That has to stop now. Even as we have held these rallies for the last few weeks, it's almost every day another incident. Within the past day, another attack on the New York City subways. Monday morning, NYPD released this video of an attack on a man they believe to be Asian on a J train. The people involved have not been located, but it has intensified the focus on attacks. The MTA and New York City Transit earlier this month had stepped up an anti-hate campaign. NYC Transit President Sarah Feinberg calls the most recent video horrifying. We are seeing a clear uptick in concerning issues in the system, and I think a uniformed police presence is not the only solution, but it's a really important solution, and it's one that I need the city to step up on. Well, make no mistake, if you're a hater, pack your bags. You're not welcome here. Queensboro President Donovan Richards initially organized the vigil to honor the women killed at spas in Atlanta on March 16th, including six of Asian descent. Congresswoman Grace Meng of Queens is just back from meeting with those families. Many Asian Americans and many of them women whose voices and stories have never really been viewed as being American enough. NYPD has created an initiative specifically focused uh, on Asian hate crimes. That includes more undercover officers riding the trains. Outside Queensboro Hall, Greg Mocker, PIX11 News.